What's up guys, that really gross guy here, and we are back, and uh, I wanted to talk about something that's a little bit controversial-ish today, uh, and it's something that kind of is discussed a bit in the community, and usually it's the minority, it's like that 5-10% to 10 that are really, really vocal in the community, that uh, sometimes they... I don't want to say they stir up trouble, but sometimes they just misrepresent the community as a whole. And uh, I wanted to see what you guys think, and in the process, maybe kind of kind of discuss about what maybe the other ninety percent uh, actually think. So that is going to be a little bit of a topic that revolves around the deluxe skins as well as the Tenogen skins. Now, I actually did this video once already, however, I did it just before the recent dev stream, and in the recent dev stream, they showed off five new skins, four of which I believe are deluxe, so, or maybe it was, no, 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 because the Zephyr wasn't shown, but they showed four skins, and, whoa, that, okay, forget what I just said, but they, they showed three new deluxe skins and one additional uh, what's it called? Um, a deck skin, which is pretty awesome. If you want to check out my Teno, or not my Tenogen, my uh, Devstream Deluxe Special Edition uh, video, you can check that out in the corner or at the end screen. But, anyways, with that said, Deluxe versus Tenogen, which is better? Uh, I don't, neither are better, in my opinion, but there's kind of this idea behind, well, how about we just stop making deluxe skins and only do Tenogen? And I totally disagree with that because, number one, Tenogen skins are based on creators uh, that are not part of Digital Extremes, some creator creators that are making their own skins and want to implement them into the game in return for a little bit of money. Um, and the the financial part we'll we'll get into in a little in a little bit, but uh, you guys probably already know my take on the Tenogen skins. Um, I think they're actually pretty good. At first, I was a little bit skeptical, but the fact that the Tenogen creators, from what I've heard, get fifty percent of the cut, maybe more, maybe a little bit less, but I, from what I've heard, it's fifty percent of the revenue. So they that's actually pretty good. That allows them to pay their bills. Uh, you know, well, well, hopefully, if their skin sells well, which they do. I mean, these guys sell pretty well, um, but that helps them. You know, it gives them a little bit of little bit of income. And besides that, that gets them a little bit of stuff in their portfolio. So if they wanted to seek out a job when it comes to uh, maybe you know character design or whatever they they decide to go about, they have some some tangible stuff, some physical stuff that's made it into a game, that's been accepted into a game, so maybe that'll earn them a job in the future, or maybe they just want to do it freelance like they're doing now and make a little bit of money. Um, that's not stuff I really want to get into. That's, you know, up to the Tenogen guys, and I fully support uh, the Tenogen guys. I've bought a few skins myself, uh, and uh, they, they do great work. They do great work. So, anyways, when it comes to the Tenogen skins, what I wanted to talk about, number one, is quality. And when it comes to the quality, it's hard to say that the Tenogen skins are not good quality. Pretty much every Tenogen skin that has made it into the game so far has been fantastic quality. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that every single Tenogen skin is for you. Uh, I've personally purchased a few, and there are some that uh, just don't strike my fancy, uh, some of which I have yet to buy, and I really want to. It's just a matter of, number one, getting, uh, you know, throwing some some money at it and uh, and being okay with it personally, because I got bills to pay for sure. Um, and then, at the same time, they uh, like I said, there's, there's just a few out there that I, I'm not too sure what I want to do with. I just, I think they look cool, and I want to make a build or a theme around them, but uh, I just haven't pulled the trigger on it, so... But nevertheless, these Tenogen skins are uh, fantastic. They look really, really good. Now the Deluxe skins, um, let's actually first real quick talk about uh, not the Deluxe skins, but the Immortal skins. And that's something that's going to play into some of the quality information that I want to dish out to you guys in just a second. But 
Originally, uh, there was a new reskin thing going on in Warframe, and you could purchase what they call immortal skins. And these immortal skins were basically a recoloration uh, of these frames. So if you were to go into the market and check it out, you could find like an Excalibur. Well, is it is there an Excalibur immortal skin? Ah, uh, yes, there is. There's an Excalibur immortal skin, like a Banshee immortal skin. All the different frames. Uh, pretty much have immortal skins, I believe, except for some of the newer ones. And I believe the reason behind that is that was BE's original idea of can we just reskin these these frames and a new coloration? And are people interested in that? Uh, they go for about forty platinum a piece, so it's fairly reasonable. If you want to just tweak your Warframe's colors a little bit, you can do that. Uh, but I think that was their first take on uh, can we make skins for these frames and are people interested? And I think they quickly found out that, yeah, people people are willing to buy, but uh, they just, they aren't all that fancy. And I think when they started playing around with, what if we kind of redesign, not necessarily re redesign, but reimagine, uh, maybe by a different artist, what if we tweaked one of these Warframes to make it look like something else? And we've seen that, like the Banshee Soprano skin is dramatically different. The Chroma Dragon, awesome dragon skin, the Dynasty skin, looks really, really cool. And uh, pretty much every deluxe skin has been a redesign. The Mag recently is really good. The, uh, uh, the Irkala, I believe, is the name of the Necro skin, which looks fantastic. Obviously, uh, you can see in the background I'm playing as Mesa with her pr new Presidio skin, and I think that looks great too. So some of these deluxe skins are really good, and there's some people out there that, you know, because it's not their taste, because this deluxe skin or a deluxe skin is not really something they are interested in and care about, I've heard uh, quite a number of times, and, and in the forums people are like, Either they, they swing one way or the other. Swing is the wrong term, sorry. Uh, they, they think one way or the other, and that is that uh, either the deluxe skins should just stop being made so that the Tenogen creators can make all the new skins, which I don't necessarily agree with. I'll talk about that in a second. Or the other thing is to um, is, is they, they won't spend a penny on the Tenogen skins. They don't want to spend money on the Tenogen skins. And I get it. I definitely get it. Uh, seven bucks is, is not necessarily cheap for a skin, uh, but I do like the fact that, like I said earlier, that the Tenogen content creators do get a cut of that profit. Um, I think it would be greedy if DE was keeping 100% of that to keep it at $7 a pop, um, but they're not they're not so I think that's pretty good that means that the content creator gets a cut and the the person that actually has to go in and animate the skin and apply the skin and do all the extra work uh, that works for DE do all that extra work to make the skin actually function in game uh, is pretty much where the other three through 50 goes or whatever the the skin the half of the skin cost so I get it so I, I'm, I'm fine with that personally but uh, when it comes to when it comes to the the Tenogen, some people also want it to become platinum based. Uh, I personally would love to spend platinum on the Tenogen skins. However, I understand why they don't want to do that is because number one, the content creators that made the skin, um, they have bills to pay, kind of like I was saying. And what are they going to do with platinum? Um, if they could trade platinum back in for real money, then that would work. But uh, personally, the 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 way you know platinum is is you can earn it in game, um, and that's what some people want to do to buy these these Tenogen skins. But what is let's say uh, uh, Faven or Hitsusan or Luke and you or Malayu or Lead Twenty Twelve? All off the top of my head, these are just some some these guys. I've seen their skins; they do great work, and there's there's plenty of others. But these right off the top of my head, what are these guys gonna do with? 10, 20, 100,000, who knows what, what platinum they would have earned in game. But uh, if they were to get a cut of that platinum, who knows how much you know platinum they'd have laying around that they have nothing to do with. That's not going to pay their bills. So I get it. I absolutely get it. Um, if you think about it, a, uh, a Tenogen skin 
is in the US at least minimum wage is well above seven dollars an hour so if you have a job it only takes you an hour to uh, to work in order to purchase a skin now like I said I absolutely understand if you, you got bills to pay and you it's just not an option uh, I've been there I've worked 70 hour weeks and I played Warframe on the weekends uh, I was a weekend warrior I literally never logged into Warframe throughout the week because I was had way too much to do um, and I had to grind for everything in game uh, and I tried to stay up to, as up to date as I possibly could and I I get it I get it so but uh, it, just because just because we as a community can't uh, you know or, or refuse to or just can't in general uh, hash out real money for the uh, for the Tenogen skins doesn't mean that they don't deserve to get paid themselves um, I don't know I don't want to be too controversial I just think that it's never going to change the deluxe skins will always be around Tenogen will always be around because number one Tenogen brings in quite a bit of money to Warframe not to mention the fact that it's providing us with extra content and some you know some stuff that DE personally doesn't have to uh, work that hard on uh, I don't want to. Oh, maybe they maybe they do have to kind of put in a lot of effort to get a Tenogen skin to function. I don't know 100% for sure, but um, I, I know that I know that the amount of work that comes along um, is 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 okay with DE. They're they're fine with putting the work in uh, to get these content out for us because they know that if they didn't have Tenogen and they wanted to provide us more content, they would have to hire a lot more people. And, uh, and you know, you know how companies work. You can't just hire as many people as you want because profits and uh, overhead and, you know, all that stuff. That's just, that's big boy talk for, uh, for business. So, uh, anyways, if, if that stuff is, is, you know, is stuff you don't care about, uh, just know that, that uh, it's necessary. The, 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 fact that the fact that it costs money is necessary. Um, but with that said... Also keep in mind that, let's say Digital Extreme said, you know what, you're right, let's, let's just stop making deluxe skins. Let's give it all to the Tenogen artists, um, and, and the only character design, the only type of stuff that we do from now on is only for brand new frames. Then you better believe that P the, the, some of the character design character artists at, uh, at Digital Extremes will lose their jobs. They will straight up be like, sorry, we just don't have work for you. You know, you, you're going to have to find somewhere else to work. And that sucks. That sucks. They don't deserve that. Uh, some people are like, oh, well, those guys can just go work on another portion of the game. Not, not necessarily true. These people, their, their degrees, their majors, or, or when they went to college or university, probably revolved around, like, character design, game art, something along those lines. Um, and while they do have some experience, I'm sure, in... Uh, game design, you know, I doubt those guys are. Uh, some of them maybe, but I doubt those guys are uh, capable of of learning how to or, or creating Ash's Blade Storm. You know, uh, think about the lines of code. I, I looked at um, De Bad Horse. I'll just I'll just throw that out there because that's what he goes by. Uh, I watched his stream and his Ash uh, when he was going into the coding for Ash's Blade Storm. There was over like something like I, don't, I think it was 10 no no eight eight no it was almost almost nine thousand at least nine thousand lines of code could you imagine writing an essay that has nine thousand lines let alone coding that's absurd that's crazy um these game artists that's not their thing they, 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 they're character artists. They're, they like game art. They're design, you know, they design that type of stuff. Uh, even if DE said, hey, you know, you have enough coding experience that we'll make you a programmer. I wouldn't be surprised if some of these guys would say, well, thank you for the offer, but I don't know. I, I want to, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that for, for the rest of my life. I want to game, I want to character design. That is what, that is what I love. That's what I'm passionate about. So, I think that uh, we will never 
we will never see deluxe skins go away. Number one, it provides jobs. Number two, they sell totally fine, and uh, and and plenty of people. That's 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 the only it's the only skins they're gonna get is because they that's how they 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 uh, you know they decide that they aren't gonna pay out of pocket for skins. So I get it. Uh, it only takes uh, it only takes about let's say you run a public match of a fissure mission. Let's say you run four of those a day because you only have an hour a day. And that's assuming it takes you 15 minutes per match. And that's uh, that's pretty, pretty lengthy. Most people can easily run a fissure match in under 15 minutes. But let's say for whatever reason, the only fissure you're gonna run is an exterminate and it takes you 15 minutes for some reason. You could run four of those, you could earn about 100 ducats in that single uh, session of playing Warframe for that hour. It would take you four days to earn a Prime mod from Baro, and uh, those sell for about 100, just under maybe 100 Platinum, or no, yeah, 100 Platinum in the market. Uh, you, you run that for another four days, you get another Prime mod, you sell that again. Uh, that's enough to buy you a, uh, a, a Prime, uh, or not a Prime skin, but a, a Deluxe skin. So if that's if you're choosing to to do it 100% platinum in uh, eight days, playing just an hour a day, you could very easily, very easily afford to get yourself a uh, deluxe skin. Um, and like I said, if you if you have more than that, if you have more time than that, or if you run a uh, fissure survival or a fissure defense where you can earn a lot more stuff at once, it's very easy. Uh, you don't even have to trade those in for ducats. You could sell most of those parts for platinum. As long as you end up with a decent, uh, you know, a decent haul, you know, you get a couple rare, um, um, what's it called, prime parts, sell those in the market for 50 platinum a piece, whatever, you get a full set, you could sell that for uh, probably half of what a uh, deluxe skin's going to cost you. So it's reasonable. The prices are reasonable. I don't think anyone's necessarily arguing that the deluxe skins are too expensive. Uh, like I said, some people are just not willing to spend the money on Tenogen. I get it, uh, but I like supporting those content creators, so I will continue to do so. And I know there are a lot of people that will, so that's why Tenogen will always be here. Deluxe will always be here. And when it comes down to kind of the idea behind the video is Tenogen versus Deluxe. I don't think they. I don't think you can. You can say that one is better than the other. You just. You just can't because while some people are way more happy with the quality of the Tenogen skins, uh, you also are going to be paying out of pocket. And then at the same time, people who are buying up the deluxe skins, they can farm those. That's an advantage that they have over the deluxe skins. There really is no comparing the two. They're. They're. They're both. Uh, they're both necessary in the game for their own reasons, and I don't think either one will ever go away. So for those people that are saying, uh, just stop doing deluxe skins, it's not going to happen. For those of you who are saying that, you know, Tenogen is... I don't think anyone's saying that Tenogen is a waste of time. I just think that there's a lot of people that are saying that they won't buy Tenogen. But um, I think I think jump into any Cetus mission or jump into any relay and take a look around at the frames that are floating around, and you'll see a lot of Tenogen content. And I think that just goes to show that Tenogen is popular enough that uh, it will continue to be a thing. So I think that's all I have to say. Uh, let me know if you agree or disagree with any of the points that I have talked about today. Let me know if you have purchased any Tenogen or if you uh, have 100% been free to play. I was for a really, really long time. I didn't spend a dollar uh, until I was like, you know what? I just... I love this game and I want to support it and uh, the way I saw it was originally what I said is I'd pay $60 for this game. This was back when like, um, um, what frame, I think like Necros had just came out and like I was fighting the Lephantis and all that and I was like, you know what, I'd, I'd spend $60 on this game. They do a lot of content and then I think I spent like, you know, like I said, like 60 bucks on the game, you know, as if it was a AAA title, I spent 60 bucks on the game and then sooner or later I was like, wow. They, they keep making more content and I think it's great and then I'd spend a few bucks here or there um, and I, I it was 100% worth it uh, at this point I've probably spent a couple hundred bucks uh, some into Tenogen like I said I've spent some money on Tenogen I've, I've bought a couple uh, parts of the prime accesses here or there 
and I don't regret it even the slightest little bit. Um, I love this game, um, and I'm also appreciative of DE after creating content. DE giving me a chance to be a content creator, and I appreciate them as well. But with all that aside, if you do want to talk about anything, you want to show anything, you want to show me some captura of your deluxe skins or your Tenogen skins, or you just want to talk about you know, your opinions on those, or just you want to talk about anything in general, I do have a Discord if you want to jump in and join that. That would be really, really cool uh, to see you guys there. See your guys' capturas. I'd share, I'll share some of mine as well if you guys want. Um, but that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in another episode. And until next time, blah!